Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the final episode of Dracula, The Dark Compass. Dracula surfaces in a strange land. Back to his old ways in different surroundings, he meets an alluring new bride and a fearsome challenge. The last episode ended weird. I don't know if like there was a time gap or something. We'll probably find out. But as we saw, you know, the ship blew up. And when he surfaced, it was like modern day and Agatha was there. Because she said that she was becoming a vampire on the ship when she was dying. So did she? Is she a vampire that was mainly maybe working against Dracula? Is she a mortal? Is she an angel? Is she something else? I don't know. It's definitely odd. This has been a hell of a ride. I've been loving it. The guy who plays Dracula is really good. You know, he's just been spot on. And so I'm definitely excited to see what this is going to bring, what this is going to entail. we got about an hour and a half to go because this whole series was about like four and a half hours roughly. So it's going to be interesting, yeah, to see where they're going to take us. And I am happy you are here with me for the final episode of this Dracula miniseries. And if you are ready... Let's get started. Have you eaten? She was giving you think I was here. No. Under no circumstances are the two of us. <laughs> Take me in. Lose me. I know you're allowed to drink. Run. <laughs> no! No! At least he's giving her the chance to get away. I mean, he still might kill her later, but. Agatha, I announce I'm going to make you last. That's not gonna work. So, so beautiful. Would that pick him up? Wouldn't it be cold? If that's heat sensor. You know what a camera is. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah, he knows what a gun is, too. Of course, I guess it would a gun is, but he wouldn't know how to work that. Does, does he know you have to take the safety off? It doesn't make it hard to be a I saw that coming. I've also reacted to Interview with a Vampire, the series, and they can, they can see the reflections in that one. But they're also not very critical. <laughs> Do 
you have an orchestra. Huh. That's her phone. <laughs> yeah, smart. I'm surprised they didn't close the... <laughs> Well, she did say if anything happens to her that they'd tear the roof off, so. This is weird. Okay. It does not hurt. Bad blood? Six new updates of value. <laughs> I was gonna say, someone wants to talk to you. Is that the same wallpaper that they used in the Devil's Hour? Because it looks like it. Hey. Tonight, you can bring someone. <laughs> and her name is Lucy. We have Nina, now we have Lucy. Contact Jonathan Marco. I know what he wants to say. I mean, it's got to be killing you why he's blowing your phone up. It's killing me why he's blowing his phone up. What are you struggling for? It's no one realized quite how close how Dracula's ship got to the British mainland. Oh, hello. Jack, sir. Hello, Jack. Sorry to be so late. Oh, don't worry, I haven't got to the good bit yet. <laughs> Another um What's wrong with you? Dude, he's gonna bite ya. Told ya. Bloody vampire. Wasn't he just talking about how rights don't exist? Term. It is the correct term. It's not a legal term. <laughs> Has he harmed anyone? Yes. Who gave him a point? Who gave him a tablet? I'm sending you an email. He is very advanced for just that's pretty for just waking up in the 21st century. I know I mentioned about change and adapting and you go with it and stuff, yeah. but he would so not know this much in this short amount of time. Being such a courteous host. It is, however, the tradition that the courteous host must be the parting guest, and I'm sure you would call it. And when we created, since she said she wanted to be created. Save the 
He said, we go way back, and he's looking at her. He's, he's putting two and two together. Kiss me, Jack. Kiss me. Oh. Come on, Jack. Kiss me like you see. I like the... He misses the sun, you know, and that he talks about how beautiful it is. Oh, oh. Bad blood. But my blood is deadly to you. Yes. So you die. So will you. So an odd ending, you know. He drank her blood after all to die, and you know, I like that shot of the sun at the end. See, the one thing I do like is that at least in this, he's it's like the one thing that he longed for most was the sun, you know. Because he saw, at the beginning of the episode, he saw that TV. But I want to know why that house? Why did he choose those people? And what happened to the woman? But, you know, he had on the TV and he saw the sun and he commented about how beautiful it was. And then, of course, there, when he steps into it and you can see it and feel the warmth and everything and comment about the sun. It's like he experienced something truly beautiful and because of that maybe he felt he could end or whatnot I don't know that's kind of a, kind of a lame ending I thought um, because you know then he just and she was dying anyway so he just chews on her with her contaminated blood basically and then ends up dying himself in the sun. The sun may be burning him up. <sighs> that was interesting. I'm glad to go ahead and watch it. You know, I was interested because I was like, you know, it's three parts. It's by Stephen Moffat. Um, and like I said, the guy who plays Dracula was really good. And I like how they kind of linked things. You know, like with Jonathan Harker, when we saw it on the guy's phone here, we thought it was maybe like a descendant or something. But Jonathan Harker obviously was the foundation itself. You know, and then, of course, she's the what great, great aunt and our great great niece um but yet agatha of course was basically still with her and then of course that scene where you saw the two of them where they were kind of like in bed together like that was his true bride or his true love or something was agatha 
and how they kind of finally came together, the two parts that made them whole. But like I said, that guy who played Dracula is really good. I'm going to have to look, look him up. Um, so I still feel like a couple questions weren't answered, but that's okay. Unfortunately, it's been a week or so since I've watched the previous episode, so my mind has become a little fuzzy on it. But if you want to talk about anything down in the comments, feel free. You know, it'd be interesting to get a conversation going. Um, let me know how this version is different from other versions of Dracula. You know, I know that when they talked about this, they commented about it being, you know, like a, uh, uh, a new take or a new version on it, which it was. And then of course, I also had mentioned to you about, uh, Interview with the Vampire, which as I said, you can catch my reactions to that. Um, but the whole thing about the reflection, that was one thing they didn't explain. Why her reflection showed her young, but his reflection showed him old. Is it what they, is it what they see? She sees, still sees herself as beautiful, so she appears beautiful. He sees himself as old, as old, 500 years. So that's what he sees. That part wasn't really explained. But I just lost my train of thought on that. <laughs> I had a good going and, and yeah. oh yeah, about uh, interview with the vampire. Got it back. Uh, but yeah, you were able to see the reflection. And of course, in some stories, you know, I'm a fan of Dark Shadows, which of course has Barnabas Collins, the vampire, and that of course has all the war, fire, cross mirrors, you know, so obviously when you stand in front of a mirror, you can't see him. Uh, and so I noticed when I was doing an interview with the vampire that they were reflecting. So uh, yeah, I was curious about this, if they were going to as well. And yeah, they do. But then, yeah, I'm guessing that they see something else, that somehow he sees a 500 year old vampire, but that part wasn't really explained, you know, I was waiting for them to say why shows her as young when she looks at it and shows himself as old when he does. And then it was interesting with Lucy how she, when she finally saw that she was a, alive, but all burned and she couldn't handle it. So it shows kind of how vain that she was. You know, because she, what did she value most? She valued her looks, beauty, the fact that she herself was beautiful. She didn't, and apparently she wasn't afraid of death, which is one reason why, um, why Dracula had a little bit of that attraction to her and everything. She didn't fear death. Dracula did. Um, but yeah, she was very vain. And Jack noticed, of course, that Texas guy that she was engaged to was looking at his watch because he had a plane to catch and obviously a bag. Everyone's like, oh, he loves you. And then when you saw that part, it's like, really? Does he? Because I would think if he would, he would have been up further, like with the family for the morning, not back several rows and obviously not with a bag. I am so glad to have done this reaction. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of future reacts. If you're watching this on Rumble, head over to YouTube to see what I had to cut out. And if you're watching this on YouTube, head over to Rumble to catch the untrimmed version. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My link to buy me a coffee is in the description. If you will help a girl out, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll give you a shout out in a future video. Link to my editor is also in the description if you are considering anything that you would like edited, please reach out to her. Thank you for joining me. This was an adventure that I have enjoyed. I'm glad that it was a short adventure that I was able to watch it without getting bogged down with seasons after seasons. And I will see you 
for my next video. Be sure to check out some of my others. I have a nice variety and I will catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed my cat sleeping here the entire time. Have a great day, a great week, a great month. Bye.